to another form Titan video. In this video, I will show you how to learn how to review API logs in Form Titan. So what I'm going to do is I've set up a simple HTML file, and this is my API key that I've just added in there, and then this is my form. Okay, and then this is my form, specifically my form number. So I'll show you where that is. It's over here, and then. I'm going to specify my field. So my field is just going to be a simple text box, nothing really special right now. So I'll just put like, <coughs> I'll call this full name. And this is FOD26, all right? So FOD26, and I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to say FOD26, and then I'm going to put the value to be Joe Blocks. All right, that's all I have to do. And then I will show you how this works. If I click Save, and then I open this file as a HTML file. I will show you how it looks like. So this is how it opens with the API submit. Now, what will happen is when I go ahead and click API submit, this has been submitted. All right, so once this has been submitted, what you can do is you can go directly to your logs. So under my account, so if you click my account under API, you will see two things, incompleted and completed. So the one that I just submitted right now, JoeBlocks, is still processing at the moment, okay? And if it's completed, it will end up in here. So if I just give this a refresh, you can see that my FOD26 JoeBlocks is now completed, and there's my uh, ID, all right? So I can go into this ID and then have a look what data has been submitted. So there you go, there you go, blogs. All right, and this is how it's done. Like, it's super, super easy process. Um, once you set up your APIs, go to APIs. Any incompleted logs will be running in there. And if they haven't in completed, you'll get an option to run again. And if you click run again, you will get a chance to submit it. And then you can click and submit it, and then it will be good to go. And if it has completed, it will end up with the status code of completed, and it will end up under here. Uh, with the the values automatically in there. So this is where you check your incompleted and completed logs in your Titan if you are using API access and this is how it's done.